Hello, precious brethren. Hope you're all doing well and that you had a good Passover weekend. Hallelujah. <clears throat> we give God all the honor, glory, and praise. Hallelujah. For the death, burial, and resurrection, the Passover lamb, the blood that was shed for us so that we could be forgiven of all of our sin. Hallelujah. So God looks and sees the blood. He's not seeing our sin, saints. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, uh couple things in the last video we were talking about uh, not putting any, any confidence in our own flesh because we're called the body of Christ we're not called the body of you or the body of me we're called the body of Christ hallelujah his body he liveth and abideth forever hallelujah so with that um, we were talking about how we put no confidence in the flesh and those that live after, the last thing I said was those that live after the flesh, they are not God's children. If Unless you're born again, Jesus said himself, unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Unless you're born again, you're none of his. If you're not born of the spirit, then you're not God's child. Plain and simple, God is the spirit. Those that worship him are supposed to worship him in spirit and in truth. Jesus said there comes a time when you could worship God anywhere. That was whenever Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection happened. And he breathed on them and they received the spirit. And then they could go anywhere and worship him by the spirit. Hallelujah. They don't have to go to a building because we are the temple. The living stones of the living God. Hallelujah. And he built the temple just like he built the foundation, the prophets, and the apostles. And then he's got gates of praise and walls of salvation. Hallelujah. And when he's talking to the church, or in Revelation 1, he's talking, like my brother said, he's talking to the people. He's not talking to a physical building. <laughs> he's talking to his people, his children. Hallelujah. So unless, since God is a spirit, and God is love, God is just. There's a lot of things about God, characteristics of God. And you see all of those characteristics in the Son of God. And so being part of his body, members of his body, we being the woman, we want to have his word, the bridegroom's words coming out of the bride. And that you see in Revelation 17 or 18. 18. It says, and the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in thee. Now this is after the millstone, the great millstone in verse 21 of Revelation chapter 18. So we don't have our own words. Those that are in the Sabbath, the rest of God, um, we've entered into the rest, have God having done the work for us. Um, we put on Christ. We don't put on our own words. Um, and we're servants of Christ doing the will of God from the heart. Hallelujah. Because that's where Christ walks, is in our heart. Hallelujah. And so it's the bride, br bridegroom's words, the word of God speaking through his woman, just like Israel is oracles of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see that in the Old Testament. And so that's the light that shineth in us. The bridegroom shineth. Is a, we're, we're known as candlesticks in Revelation 1. And he shines in us. So Christ in us, the hope of glory, it says in the scriptures. It talks about awake and Christ shall give thee light in one of the scriptures. It talks about awake and Christ shall give thee light. I think that's in, is that in Ephesians? I can't remember where that was. But that, that's the scripture that he says. So in Ephesians 5, we're going to read 6 through 17. We see, Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye Now we know that the wrath of God also comes on the wicked who afflicted and who destroyed Jerusalem. It says in the scriptures, God will destroy those who destroyed Jerusalem, who fought against her. And it says in the scriptures that God will destroy those who destroy his temple, which temple we are. Each one of us is a temple of the living God where the spirit dwells in us. We are sanctified and justified by the spirit, by God, and preserved in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's found in the, in the epistle of Jude. 
So we're not preserved in our own work, in our own body works, in our own flesh. We're preserved in Christ's flesh. We become flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. And Jesus said there's Satan had nothing in him. So Satan has nothing in a believer. All right. The, if you've died with Christ in faith, by faith in his death, burial, and resurrection, you are no longer of that old man, that flesh. Uh, the prophets said that God will fold up gar us like garments and he'll change the garments. And Jesus talked a lot about that too. He's going to change the garments. So he put the, the body of death in the grave. He was buried in death. And that's very clear. He was the light of the world that took that death for us. That, uh, what is it called? That, um, that guilty verdict. He paid the penalty of our guilty verdict because, because, because we all... Before we were born again, we were all children of darkness, the scriptures say. So now that we're born again, we're children of light because of Christ. That's why we give him all the glory, all the praise, all the, all the honor, the word of God who came and showed us the ways of life and became our life because he took our death upon him. Hallelujah. As Isaiah 53 says, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let no man deceive because there's lots of people who deceive and they want you to judge by appearance and by people's deeds. Jesus, and, and certainly there's a certain part of judging deeds, but Jesus said it like this. He said, don't judge by appearance. People judge by appearance every day. They judge more by appearance. But it's very clear in the scriptures that some people do things in secret, but they appear as righteous. And Jesus knew this. And he called them out in Matthew 23, but other people exalted these men. And Jesus never did that because he knew their hearts. God judges the heart, the thoughts and the intents of the heart. He sees the thinking and the heart. They're connected. Hallelujah. He says, be not ye therefore partakers with them. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. We're going to talk about truth here in a minute. Praying what is, or, yeah, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. They have to do it in secret. Otherwise, people wouldn't follow them. <laughs> But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. So any of our understanding that we, where we could see the wicked and what they're doing, it comes from the light, from God. Hallelujah. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. Oh, there's that scripture. And arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Hallelujah. Give us light, Lord. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So there's the wise virgins versus the unwise virgins. And oh, so we're going to stop right there. And then also talk about Jesus said, don't, um, don't see things as natural, man. He talked about that. Um, God's ways are higher than man's ways. Uh, because there's a lot of wicked men out there, beloved. Now, before I talk about this next part, I just want to say that we love all, we love every nation, tribe, and tongue of people, because the Bible says that the book of life, the names that are in the, the book of life are from every nation, tribe, and tongue of people. So those that are born again are written in the book of life. Those that are judged by their own works, they have not believed that Jesus is the Christ. Even though we know that the devils believe and do tremble, they do believe. Devils believe. They know. They could see him. And they see those that are born again because we are light in the world. They could see the light in us. And that's why they know who to attack and how to attack us <laughs> the way they did with Jesus. Hallelujah. But thankfully, he did die for our sins. Hallelujah. So um, in Acts 17, 5, 
Actually, I might just stop this one. It's uh, 10 minutes and go on to the next one so these can load quickly. But I just wanted to finish that last one of don't put any confidence in your flesh. Uh, we don't put confidence in our flesh because we put all of our faith in what Jesus did and in the body of Christ. We are members of his body and we uh, glory in the Lord. We praise him. We give him glory. Um, and it's in his light that we will see light, and it's um, he's in us, in uh, Christ in us, the hope of glory, and this glory no man can take away from us. The hope of our, um, the hope of our glory, Christ in us, the hope of glory. You know, hope, faith, hope maketh not a shame. The scriptures say, and our faith and our believing in Him is the anchor. The is the anchor for our soul. And it's Christ faith, right? All right. Agape love to you in Jesus' name.